Hello, my name is Mark and I have another wood carving project for you. It's something that I designed. I really wanted to have it help me to develop my carving skills. I designed it myself. In fact, I used my own hand as a model throughout this project. After I glued up two pieces of basswood, I was able to draw the side and front profile of the carving onto the block. Then I got to test out my new bandsaw. In the past, I would not have been able to rough it out this way. Removing this much wood to get down to the rough out shape would have taken an hour or more. On top of that, by temporarily reattaching the cutoff pieces, I was able to cut out the second profile much more easily. And after cutting off some of the corners, I could start carving. The design I am going for is a hand holding a spear. Two things that are generally difficult to get right in wood carving are hands and spheres. So I thought I'd really test my skills and put it into one project. I cut out a five inch circle to help me draw out the shape of the spear for the profiles. The leftover pieces made good ways to check the shape of the sphere as I carved it. I would place the arc on top of the sphere and I could easily find high spots. Places where I need to carve some more. Once I had the top part of the sphere roughly carved, I could start working on the hand. I think I had over 10 hours of time into this project. I had to be careful removing the wood from around the hand so I didn't go too deep. I needed to cut down only to where the sphere shape was. There was a lot of carving across the grain, so my tools had to be very sharp. I could quickly tell when they were dull, as there would be tear out.
I used a lot of different tools for this one, as I do for most of my projects. I found the number five fishtail gouge was my go-to gouge for much of the spear carving. It fit the curves of it quite nicely. I really need to get a bench clamp down in the shop. It would have made holding the piece much more securely. As it is, I found a stick in my shop, drilled a couple of the holes in it, and secured it to the carving bench. This way I could hold the carving at different angles as I carved. Here you can see how I attach the piece to the stick using that carver screw. The carving moved quite a bit because of how I had it secured, but in the end it all worked. There's a ugly knot right here by the thumb. I was hoping I could get rid of that, but it ended up being a part of the piece. There's also a bark inclusion that ended up in the sphere. As I got closer to the end, I took smaller and smaller shavings from it. This was quite satisfying as I got close to breaking through here because there needs to be a gap between the thumb and the spear. And 
And here I am using the carving knife to clean up the piece a bit before sanding it. Someday I'll get good enough where I won't even need to sand, but I'm not quite there yet. I wasn't trying to get it completely smooth. I just wanted to get rid of some of the ugly marks that were on there. And then I could put in some of the final details, like the fingernails and some of the wrinkles at the joints. I never had this many wrinkles when I was younger. I don't know how that happened. And then I finished it with some boiled linseed oil. I put on about four coats of the oil, followed by some clear lacquer. It did not stand up on its own, and I knew it wouldn't. And I thought I could get it to do that by drilling a hole and uh, then gluing some fishing weights in the bottom. But I didn't have enough. So I ended up attaching a base plate and then it was able to stand on its own. And here is the final piece. The sphere is certainly not perfect, but I do like how it turned out. Even with that bark inclusion in there, it adds a little interest. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support.